What's up guys? In my last video, I explained to you that one of my 2020 goals was to get partnered on this channel on YouTube. So I wanted to kind of explain exactly how that's gonna work and what YouTube requires to make that happen. So YouTube has three things they require for their partner program. The first being a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. Second is 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months. And then the third is an overall review of your channel that is actually done by somebody who works at YouTube. So 4,000 hours might not seem like a lot, but if you break it down, it's equal to 240,000 minutes or just under 11 hours per day for 365 days straight. At the time I'm making this, I'm at 780 subscribers and just over 2,000 watch hours on my channel. So considering I've only made videos for about six months, I think my goal is definitely achievable. So I'm sharing this goal with you guys for two main reasons. The first being transparency. Uh, when I watch YouTubers, I wanna know everything that goes on behind the scenes. I just have a very analytical mind. So I was very curious what exactly needs to happen for somebody to become partnered on YouTube. Uh, for those of you that are my long-term subscribers, you know that I was partnered on YouTube back when I did Call of Duty. So things have changed a lot since then. I think it was 2014, 2015 when I was like mostly in my prime for YouTube or whatever. Now YouTube has changed up the parameters which need to be hit. Um, like I just mentioned, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So. The second reason I'm telling you guys this is to hold me accountable. So personally, when people keep asking me about my goals, saying, hey, how's this going? How's this going? I'm much more inclined to commit to them and stay after them. And science even says if you write down your goals and share them with others, you have a greater chance of achieving them. All right, with that said, let's get into the main part of this video. Jess and I actually went to the Southeast Michigan Auto Show yesterday. They had everything from Lamborghini Aventadors to mom vans. I mean, it was like super cool to see. I saw an Urus in person, and then I actually saw the latest generation Toyota Supra. So it was the first time I've seen a lot of these cars. I had a Huracan Evo, a bunch of the new stuff. So we saw a lot of really cool stuff there, guys. I'm gonna roll into that footage right now. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you there. Do you love it? Love it. Is it roomy? Yeah. I feel like it's really minimal. It is. It's kind of sweet though. Oh wow. Oh, and it's got the lights. Everything's fully digital, like the yeah. dash and display. Can you like click on them? Wow. No, I thought you could. Okay, that's kind of sweet. <laughs> Okay, carbon fiber, interior trim. It's just so like crisp and like if I had to compare it to mine, it's just like- Is this the kind of car you have? Mine's the S5, this is the RS5. So this one's faster and newer. So That's cool. this is cool, the RS. Mine says S5 on the top, but this is just like over here. This is way cool. I like it. Paddle shifters feel nice too. Okay. This is the first Supra I've seen in person, the newer ones. This looks fun. I think we're a little bit too old to participate though. Oh, it's a red interior too. The whole thing's touch. Really? Is that comfy? Wow. There is carbon fiber on every like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Down there. <laughs> Literally, I I, think every. This is my new favorite one though. Really? Every option, they just check the box. I just missed the Aventador and the 458 Spider. I love that the RS5 is right next to it. That's a six back on the Aventador though. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. I'm surprised the side skirts aren't. We'll find another 9,000 mile one. It's red and gray. I love these guys. I go, you know what? Look how big that is. That's my hand for comparison. This is a 330, so it's like the base model. It's not even a 340. Wow. They got a bar in the middle. I didn't even notice it. Really? Yeah. We can look at everything we didn't look at, like the Cadillac, 
Was that Buick? Oh, they did have something sweet. Oh, wait, he's not. <laughs> My favorite car that we saw was the red Range Rover one. It was really nice. It was an SVR with all the like specked out uh, carbon fiber everywhere, which was definitely sweet. I'd say like the number two coolest mom car there. My favorite was probably, I mean, obviously just because it's an Aventador with that, but they had a sweet 458 Spider and they actually had a, that red RS5 that was next to the Aventador was like, I would say my third or fourth favorite car there because they did have an Evo, they had the Huracan Evo, which I've only seen a couple times in real life. And they had a, saw some really cool like newer cars there. They had a BMW 330. So seeing the 2023 series was definitely like, I mean, yeah, I, that was the first 2020 car I've seen from BMW that was so close. Sick. That was sick. The RS5 that I sat into and got to see a little bit of the interior up was way cool. Like the S5 interior is nice, but everything was just so like tight 